Pink Floyd is a vibe. What a freaking guitar solo. This was delightful. Hi everybody, welcome back to Quality Reactions where we're gonna listen to some music and we're gonna discuss the quality art. Today we are gonna be listening to a brand new band to the channel, <laughs> Pink Floyd and their song, Comfortably Numb. I know this is gonna be one of those bands and one of those songs probably that people are like, what? How can you not have heard of it? Now listen, I obviously know who Pink Floyd is, okay? But it is one of those bands that I haven't really delved into their musical repertoire, if you will. And the song that I know the best is Wish You Were Here, which I fucking love. So I'm really excited to hear some other stuff by Pink Floyd and, you know, just take a deep dive with you guys. Now, of course I looked up a little something about them because every time there's a new band to the channel, I look up a little something something. So Pink Floyd are an English rock band formed in London in 1965. Gaining an early following as one of the first British psychedelic groups, they were distinguished by their extended compositions, sonic experiments, philosophical lyrics, and elaborate live shows. They became a leading band of the progressive rock genre, cited by some of the greatest progressive rock, cited some at cited by some as the greatest progressive rock band of all time. I cannot wait to get going with some Pink Floyd. Just a friendly reminder to like and subscribe. And with that being said, yes, let us do this.
Okay. Okay. First of all, Pink Floyd is a vibe, and I'm sure you guys already know that, but uh, they're a vibe. They're a vibe. That's why Pink Floyd is Pink Floyd. Am I right? Um, this is very cool. I haven't seen any performances from them live, obviously, since like I'm not, it wasn't, Pink Floyd wasn't something that I was like listening to all the time. I don't even think I've seen a video of the song Wish You Were Here, which is a song I really love, but um, just heard the songs. So this is really cool already. Um, they're like, obviously they have such stage presence. They know what they're doing. So that's really cool. Um, it feels very, I don't know, like I can picture being there and how fucking epic it must feel, but it's just very, you know, relaxed and kind of, um, it's like lulling. I don't know. It's lulling me. Uh, the lyrics, uh, hello, 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 hello. Is there anybody in there? Just not if you can hear me. Is there anyone home? Come on now. I hear you're feeling down. Well, I can ease your pain, get you on your feet again. Relax. I'll need some information first. Just the basic facts. Can you show me where it hurts? The reason why I stopped it was because they sounded different. So, okay, so there was that bit. And then it sounded different when it went into, there is no pain, you are receding. A distant ship smoke on the horizon. You are only coming through in waves. Your lips move, but I can't hear what you're saying. When I was a child, I had a fever. My hands felt just like two balloons. Now I've got that feeling once again. I can't explain. You would not understand. This is not how I am. I have become comfortably numb. So then it started, okay, 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 okay. And it started. So I was wondering because it, it kind of sounded like it had a bit of an effect at the very beginning. And then it went back to that. So it kind of sounds like a call and response song to me so far. So the beginning verse, I don't know. Let's see. I hear you're feeling down while I can ease your pain, get you on your feet again. Can you show me where it hurts? There is no pain. You are receding. You're a distant ship, a smoke on the horizon. You're only coming through in waves. Your lips move, but I can't hear anything. When I was a child, I had a fever. My hands just like balloons. Hmm. It kind of feels like the person. Okay. It's Pink Floyd. This is 1994, but they were formed in the 60s. <laughs> this is getting, giving me um, somebody's high vibes. I don't know on what. But it feels like someone is talking to, even really, I guess it wouldn't have to be on any kind of drug. It could really be um, in a certain state of being, like psychologically, which I mean drugs do. But I mean like really, you know, a song is related how you see it or feel it. So I always go back to anxiety because that's like a thing that I deal with. So I could see how... Mm, even if you were in that state of mind and someone was trying to say like, can I'm here to help you? Where does it hurt? And you're like, oh, I can't. You're like your lips are moving, but I can't hear you. It's because I'm so like in my zone. But the whole, my hands just felt like two balloons. Now I've got that feeling once again, feels very like a who um, thing happening. So it kind of feels like someone is like, hello, I'm here to help. Like how, you know, like maybe, re you know, reviving someone trying to like, hello, wake up in there, um, you know, what can I do to help you? And they're kind of just saying like, I can't explain, you would not understand, this is not how I am, I have become comfortably numb. I don't know if that's like, maybe they were self-medicating um, to get through something. So they're just, they're, they're trying to say, this is not how I normally am. I don't, like, I can't explain it, you wouldn't understand, but this is not, this isn't me, but I've become this like comfortably numb person on this medication that I need to survive. There could be that vibe too. So maybe in some self-medicating um, vibes. I don't know. But anyway, I love it so far because Pink Floyd is a vibe. And I don't know why, I because I really love the song Wish You Were Here. I used to listen to it on repeat. I've done that with a few bands and a few songs and then just never 
quite got into the whole catalog. So if you guys, I know we're in the middle of, we're not even in the middle. This is like the beginning of the song, but if you have more suggestions from Pink Floyd, hit me up because I would love to do more if you've got any good recommendations. Okay, I'm just gonna go back and we'll keep going. I'm gonna go back twice because I feel like I missed the beginning of that verse.
God. Okay. <laughs> what a freaking guitar solo. Now, when I'm thinking guitar solo, I'm thinking that. <laughs> that was epic. Oh my god, it would it went on forever. I was like, what is happening? Um, that was really cool. What a way to end the song. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Huh. Back to the song. Okay, 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 okay just a little pinprick. There'll be no more, but you may feel a little sick. Can you stand up? I do believe it's working. Good. That'll keep you going through the show. Come on. It's time to go. I heard that. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, going through the show. And then it went back to the other, the answer, the call. There is no pain. You are receding a distant ship. Smoke on the horizon. You're only coming through in waves. Your lips move, but I can't hear what you're saying. When I was a child, I caught a fleeting glimpse out of the corner of my eye. I turned to look, but it was gone. I cannot my I cannot put my finger on it now. The child is grown. The dream is gone. I have become comfortably numb. Hmm. Well, the the other recall did kind of sound like it's a little pinprick, but it may make you feel sick. It did kind of sound like they were going to administer something to this person that was out of it in whatever state they're in to make them be able to get through a show. I don't know if this is like a personal thing that happened, but it could be like pulled from a real life experience of one of the band members or this, you know, whatever. Cause that'll keep you going through the show. Uh, you know, that has happened so I've seen that portrayed in so many movies and um and and, and uh like pop culture about people having, you know, self medicating on stuff and then, you know, being professional musicians and having to get like a little uh somebody has to like kind of revive them before they push them out on the stage because you know, you gotta perform. Time is money and you're in a business and you can't let all these people down that showed up. So I wonder if that's kind of autobiographical for one of them or all of them or whatever. That was kind of cool. And then, yeah, I love that. When I was a child, I caught a fleeting glimpse out of the corner of my eye. I turned to look, but it was gone. I cannot put my finger on it now. The child has grown. The dream is gone. Mm. Yeah, that, I mean, that kind of does sound like self-medicating for some kind of, I don't know, depression or, yeah because it kind of sounds like they're talking about when they were young, they they almost caught this glimpse of what, I don't know, what could be or what life could be. And then I turned to look, but it was gone, but I can't put my finger on it because that child has grown, who is me, and now the dream is gone. I have become comfortably numb. So yeah, you've become numb to things now. I don't know, guys. I don't know if that's what it is, but that's kind of what I was getting from it. And even though it is a bit of um, a melancholy song, I love I loved it. I love the vibe. I mean, I already knew that I liked Pink Floyd because, like I said, um, I have heard some of their songs. I have not heard this one. I was kind of worried that I might have already heard it when I started listening to it, but no, I haven't heard it, which I know is probably going to get some comments that are like, how have you not heard this song? <laughs> so I'm sorry if that personally offends you, but I just haven't heard it. And you know what? better for me because now I get to live it now. I get to hear it now for the first time and I bet you're jealous. <laughs> but guys, that was so much fun. Um, I did look up hilariously. Okay. I looked, I saw this little tidbit when I was looking up because, you know, I like to research the song a little bit. Like I like to research the band and I like to research the, like get the lyrics up and stuff like that. And I saw, <clears throat> excuse me, that it said in 2005, it was the last song, this song, Comfortably Numb was the last song performed by Waters, Gilmore, keyboardist Richard Wright, and drummer Nick Mason together. 
Sorry if any of those names were wrong. Since then, the song reached critical acclaim with listeners of the digital radio station Planet Rock voting it the greatest guitar solo of all time and Guitar World rating it the fourth best guitar solo of all time. So that guitar solo at the end has been rated. <laughs> and it's hilarious that I just have never heard the song. Anyway, I mean, I guess there's a chance I probably heard it in passing, but I feel like I would have remembered it, you know? So anyway, this was delightful. I'm glad that I got to hear a, a, a song that I really enjoy for the first time from a band that I already like. So yeah, hit me up with your suggestions if you got more songs that I should listen to or even specific performances um, because somebody recommended this specific performance, which by the way, thank you so much. I really appreciate suggestions. If you guys have great ideas of songs and great performances of songs, I love to hear it. Uh, so drop those in the comments. I definitely make notes because uh, I really appreciate you guys and all your knowledge that you are bestowing upon me. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you like this reaction, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know when more is coming your way. And pretty usual, I will link my Twitch in the info section below if you want to come over there and hang out with me when I am live. But that's it for today, friends. So I don't know. Have a good day. You know, be cool. Peace.